Hello and welcome back to the Reapers with me Tanky and what we've got here today is another FDM 3D printer review, uh, the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro. Elegoo have sent me this for the purpose of a review but have not asked for any overwhelmingly positive responses about this at all so everything here is my own personal opinion. So I know what you're going to say. Tanky, haven't you just recently done a FDM 3D printer review of the Neptune 3? Yes, I have. And the reason why they've developed this machine is because they've taken on board the criticisms that were made for the minor improvements that could have been made on the Neptune 3 and then implemented these. We've still got the same essential machine under the hood and some of the features that we're still used to from that machine. The same texture build plate uh, that is magnetic, which will help with the print adhesion coming on board there. The dimensions of the actual build volume are pretty much the same. Uh, I believe there is a 5mm difference in the X and Y of the actual build plate itself, but the Z height is exactly the same. We have the same touch screen on the inside for the control panel, except with this one, instead of it clipping on, it's actually held in magnetically, which is a, a nice addition there. Still held on by the same RJ11 old style phone cable uh, you've got the belt tensioners on the uh, axes exactly the same as on the neptune 3 the spool holder itself as you can see has been moved into the center of the top gantry and it has this flexible filament run out sensor on it which uh, will let you know when you've run out of any filament on the back here is one of the improvements where you've got the dual Z rail axes and that will allow for smoother printing and stability as it goes up and down and uh, you won't also get that sag when there's no power in it uh, as you will with a single Z axis rail. So we're going to move on to one of the uh, next improvements that they've done here which is the new extruder design. Uh, it's a dual direct drive extruder, uh, which will allow you to print out flexible filaments. And that's going to be really handy if you're into like RC cars where you can print your own tires and things. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't have any of the TPU filaments that would be required to actually show those off as uh, RC cars uh, is not one of the sorts of things that I'm into. Um, and so I haven't actually got a need for uh, building that at the moment. And uh, then you've got the, the fans on it as well. And they are quiet. This machine is unbelievably quiet. Barely audible hum as it's uh, printing. It's one of those things that you could actually put in a baby's room whilst it's sleeping. And you wouldn't disturb it. So once again, we do get uh, with this new extruder design the same fantastic print quality that we got from the original Neptune 3. And just to show this off there, I've run off a couple of prints like the uh, the Buddha, which comes with it as a standard test print. And this was, once again, top quality prints for a, an FDM printer. I then also went off and printed a decorative Charizard head and this printed in about 25 hours and once again the the quality is amazing and it's a really quick and simple process to go through i have timed it and this machine actually printed it out compared to its little brother slightly faster um the original charizard head that i did for the neptune 3 took about 28 hours um, we've also got under here another additional feature of the cool white LED lights, uh, controllable from the touch screen, which light up your bill plate area, which is a nice addition. You also have, as pretty much is standard now on all these Neptune series of printers, a front loading SD card, which can be a, a little bit tricky to put back in when you're doing things cack handed back to front, upside down, but, uh, you guys won't have any issues inserting that card into the uh, the front slot. Also at the front here, you've got a USB port uh, for connecting your home computer, so you can print directly from that. That will make uh, transferring files a little bit easier, although you will have to keep it connected to the machine to do that. Uh, you've also got the ability to control the filament runout sensor from the touch screen there, um, which is very handy if you want to turn that off and uh, you know, 
makes it nice and easy. One criticism that I do have about this, this series of Neptune 3s is there is no Wi-Fi support as of yet. Um, but I have been speaking with Elegoo and it looks like it might be possible in the future with some firmware updates. As it is with all these 3D printers, you do have to do some self-assembly. Uh, this one is relatively easy. Uh, it only took me about 15 minutes and all the instructions are included on the uh, the SD card that comes with the printer. So what are my thoughts on this particular machine? Well, it's building off a, a fantastic base to begin with. The, the Neptune 3 is a fantastic beginner's entry level machine. And this only improves on that with the, the additional add-ons. Uh, especially for anybody who is looking at doing more flexible prints. With all that in mind though, um, I do have only a minor criticism of the lack of Wi-Fi capability um, that is with this machine. And uh, I'm sure Elegoo could actually implement that with, as I said, the, the firmware additions in there and the addition of the little Wi-Fi card to put onto the motherboard. But all in all, this is once again a, another fantastic machine from Elegoo. If the Wi-Fi issue is my only gripe, then you know, that tells you that it is a, a fantastic machine. I believe this machine is to go on sale sometime in November, um, although that hasn't been set in stone yet. And I believe that the, the pricing for this is due to be around about $250. For this type of machine, that is an absolute bargain. And Elegoo just seems to be going from strength to strength with the creation of these machines. So this has been my review of the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro. I've been Tanky from the Grim Reapers. And I hope to see what you've done with your 3D printers very, very soon.